This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete Haynes online manual at haynes.com. Pull the bonnet release lever located on the driver's side kick panel. Lift the bonnet safety latch and raise the bonnet upwards. With the engine completely cold, cover the expansion tank cap with a wad of rag and slowly turn the cap anti-clockwise to relieve the pressure in the cooling system. A hissing sound will normally be heard. Wait until any pressure remaining in the system is released then continue to turn the cap until it can be removed. Jack up the front of the car and support it on axle stands. Undo the fasteners and remove the engine undershield. Position a suitable container beneath the radiator bottom hose. Then prise out the retaining clip and pull the lower hose from the radiator stub. Allow the coolant to drain into the container. Once all the coolant has drained, refit the hose to the radiator and secure the retaining clip. Refit the engine undershield and the necessary fasteners. Before attempting to fill the cooling system, make sure that all hoses and clips are in good condition and that the fittings are secured. With the expansion tank filler cap removed, fill the system by pouring the coolant into the expansion tank slowly to prevent airlocks from forming. If the coolant is being renewed, begin by pouring in a couple of litres of water, followed by the correct quantity of antifreeze, then top up with more water. Note that an antifreeze mixture must be used all year round to prevent corrosion of the engine compartments. Once the level in the expansion tank starts to rise, squeeze the radiator top and bottom hoses to help expel any trapped air in the system. Once all the air is expelled, top up the coolant level to the max mark, then refit the expansion tank cap. Start the engine and run it at a fast idle for about three minutes. After this, allow the engine to idle normally until the bottom hose becomes hot. Check for leaks, particularly around disturbed components, then turn the engine off. Check the coolant level in the expansion tank and top up if necessary when the engine is cold. Note that the system must be cold before an accurate level is indicated in the expansion tank. 